This tutorial covers the basic features and functions of the BlackBerry Trader. The BlackBerry Trader allows users to open demo accounts directly from the login screen. To open the demo account, simply fill the short registration form followed by pressing the register button. The BlackBerry Trader allows for the details of multiple accounts to be saved. The Save Account Details option allows you to choose which accounts you wish to save your passwords for and which accounts you wish to remain unsaved. Your saved accounts can be accessed by tapping the Account Number field. From here you are able to select the account to log into or delete unwanted accounts. To save your account password within the BlackBerry Trader, please ensure the Save Password option is on when logging into the account. Please ensure the correct server is selected, followed by selecting Log In to connect to your account. The rates section contains all available instruments, their bid and ask rates, the lows and highs for the day and the times these were last updated. From the rates section you have the ability to open instant execution orders, Place pending orders, view charts, or add and remove symbols from your favourites. The Favourites section allows you to group your favourite tradable symbols so that these may be easily accessed. From the Favourites section you have the ability to open instant execution orders, place pending orders, view charts, or remove symbols from your favourites. Favourites can be added by clicking on the relevant pair within the Rates section and selecting Add to Favourites. The trade section shows the order details of your open positions and pending orders. It also indicates the balance with your current profit or loss, swapping commission in open positions, used margin, free margin, equity, margin level and credit. When viewing your trades you have a number of options. You can view these as deposit currency, as points or alternatively using the collective view. The collective view allows you to group all trades of the same currency, giving you a more comprehensive view of your trading activity. All options can be found by selecting the BlackBerry menu button. From the trade section you have the ability to update or close your orders. To update, simply change your required details, followed by selecting the update button. To close your order, simply select the close button. You are also able to partially close your trade, leaving the remaining volume open. In order to partially close your trade, the volume must be changed within the volume box. Once making your desired changes, you must then click Close. When successfully updated, you should receive a confirmation screen.
Your trade history gives you a comprehensive rundown of all your closed orders and removed pending orders, deposits, withdrawals and credits, as well as your order information including swaps and commissions. By clicking on the button within the top right hand corner of your history section, you can specify reports from a certain date range. All you must do is enter a start date and an end date, followed by the request button. The news section provides news feeds from the broker's server. To open the article, simply tap to download the text. The mail section provides MT4 internal mail. To open the mail, again click on the mail to view. You are able to delete open mail by pressing the BlackBerry menu button selecting the delete option. From the BlackBerry Trader you have the ability to place instant and pending orders. For each order the volume must be entered, followed by any limits you wish to add to your trade. For instant execution this is followed by selecting either buy or sell. Once your trade has been executed you will receive a confirmation window. Charts are shown by selecting the chart option after tapping on your desired tradable symbol within the rates or the favourites section. You are able to switch to different time periods by clicking the menu button of your BlackBerry and selecting your desired period. You have the ability to zoom in and out by moving your finger vertically or to scroll back by moving your finger horizontally.